Today I'm going to talk about uh, perhaps the best Gypsy Jazz plectrum I've tried so far in my eight months of uh, practicing playing uh, Gypsy Jazz, uh, Jazz Manouche, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's the Trimus 350 by Wegenpix and a guy called uh, Michel Wegen from the Netherlands uh, makes these plectrums all by hand, which I find really interesting. All by hand, all uh, handcrafted uh, guitar picks, uh, and yeah, Michel Wigan does a lot of creative stuff. I think he also makes uh, models for theme parks. I think, and uh, he also makes guitar plectrums and really good guitar plectrums. And that's why I thought, well, let's talk about let's talk about them because I've I was I, I was really impressed. I've been playing with these plectrums not for very long. I think uh, eight months, eight <laughs> no, not eight months. I think six weeks, seven weeks uh, max, uh, and I'm really uh, impressed by them. Really, they are everything I want from a Gypsy Jazz, Jazz Manouche, Plectrum. But I thought about, well, what are the characteristics of Plectrums that are really important? And I wanted to talk about those characteristics uh, using this Plectrum. Talking about the spectrum. So the first characteristic, uh, longevity, which is really important, and it's and which is a uh, a very important aspect of plectrums in jazz manouche, is the longevity of your plectrum. Because my previous plectrums, uh, I've uh, used some jazz plectrums. I uh, just plectrums. You can also use it for rock, but they are also they are jazz plectrums. I think from Dunlop. I don't know specifically the name, but they are Dunlops, um, just a standard plectrum. These Dunlop plectrums, they only have one side and they are really thin and they are small. And that's what I used to learn to play on and the, they really wear a lot. Uh, after three months you have to replace them because they get a really nasty uh, plasticky sound on the, on the strings. And actually in one of my YouTube shorts, I had this problem where I didn't have a replacement plic, uh, plectrum and I've used this and then you get that nasty sound. But that's not the case with this one. Uh, and the longevity is really nice in these plectrums because, well, it has it is rectangular, but also I think it's part, it's the material that he uses, I think. It's really thick and it's really sturdy and, uh, yeah, the longevity is really nice and the dimensions are really good. Then the grips, the grooving. Uh, the grooving is also really important. And uh, why is this, is this plectrum better than the others? Well, it has fantastic grooving. And because the plectrum has a really big surface area, it really grips your thumb. And I really hope that they never change those groovings because uh, this is like super glue on this. This plectrum is super glued onto my fingers and, and it never got off my hands. And the groovings, because the surface area is so big, it really latches onto the thumb quite nicely. And you can see it. My thumb is uh, almost like the size, the, the width of my thumb is almost the, the entire surface area because I, of course you grip a plectrum like that and then with uh, like that and then it really latches onto it quite nicely. And then the last thing is its shape. Most plectrums have one side that you play on. It is, this is a triangular shape. And uh, I wanted to buy this plectrum because of its triangular shape also. Uh, because I saw Jimmy Rosenberg and other uh, uh, gypsy musicians uh, also play with a triangular pick. And I thought, well, if those guys play with a triangular pick, it's probably good, right? Because they've been playing for a very long time. The why triangular shape is so good is because it wears evenly all the time. Here you have one side and uh, here you have three different, different uh, sides that are in contact with the strings. So, and you will pick the plectrum up by random. So you will constantly change between those different sides and they will wear evenly, they will uh, erode evenly all the time. And that's what I really love about the spectrum. It's dimensions, it's thickness, it's three and a half millimeters thick and uh, the grips and just the overall construction of the spectrum is really, um, really impressive. So that's what I had to say about this spectrum. I will now show you a little bit of a demo. So here's the demo.
Thank <laughs> you. 